Good everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix the error insufficient system resources exist to complete the requested service. Now, the method one to go ahead and fix this issue is to restart your computer. Restarting a PC can eliminate error or issues with the applications and processes that could be causing them not to launch or throw error message on the screen. Restarting your PC also clears the system memory and helps processes run smoothly. Now, once you restart your computer, you can try running the application or uh, installing the application and check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, well and good, you don't have to try the next step. Now, the next step, what I would suggest is to go ahead and free up resources using Task Manager. To do this, uh, what you could do is you can do a right click on the Start button and then look for Task Manager. Once you have the Task Manager open, click on the Processes tab and under Processes tab, look for any applications which are using maximum resources. So in case if there are any applications which are using maximum resources, what you could do is you could do a right click and then click on End Task to end that application or the process. Once that is done, you may try to open the application or run the installation and check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, well well and good, you don't have to try the next step. Now the next step, what I would suggest you to do is, I would suggest you to go ahead and tweak memory settings using registry editor. To do this, you will have to open registry editor. So you can do a right click on the start button and then click on run. In the run window, you may go ahead and type reg edit. This is the command to open registry editor and then click on OK. In case if you get a user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue on the screen. Now, once you have the registry editor open, I just want to make you aware that making any changes or incorrect changes to the registry would lead to a no boot situation or some of the application may not work properly. So be sure what entries you're making uh, changes here. Please follow the steps clearly without any misses. So once you have the registry open, this is how your registry would look. Now here you will have to go ahead and navigate or look for HKEY local machine. In case if you have the registry editor in expanded mode, you can go ahead and collapse it by using this arrow here. So expand HKEY local machine. Once you expand HKEY local machine, go, you may go ahead and look for system. So go ahead and expand the system. Once you have the system expanded, then look for current control set. It would be in alphabetical order. Once you have expanded the current control set, uh, look for the registry key which says control, expand control. And once you have the control, then look for the registry key which says session manager. Like I said, it would be in alphabetical order. So you can go ahead and look for session manager, expand session manager, and then expand memory management. So here you will have to go ahead and select the memory management. This needs to be highlighted. Once you have selected or highlighted memory management on the right hand side you will have to go ahead and look for the registry key which says pool usage maximum in my case i don't have this registry key uh, i will let you know what to do if you have this registry key and what not to do if you don't have it so since i don't have this registry key what i will do is i will do a right click on it i will go ahead and create this registry key and click on new and choose d word 32 bit value pool usage maximum and hit enter once once you have created this registry key then what you need to do is you will have to do a right click and then click on modify and here you will have to choose the decimal here under the uh, base and uh, update the value data as six zero click on okay once you click on okay you can go ahead and check make sure that the all entries are correct once it is done once you have created this registry key you can go ahead and restart your computer and check this issue has been resolved now in case if you already have this registry key on your computer in that case uh, what you could do is you can do a right click on the pool usage maximum click on modify under the base value needs to be hexadecimal and under value data make sure you go ahead and enter the characters that is go ahead and enter eight f's in the x value data so it is all small letters that is one two three four five six seven eight eight f's i will also mention this value in the video description you can copy and paste this value in from the video description once you're done with this uh, you may go ahead and click on ok restart your computer and uh, then check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, well and good, you don't have to uh, try any step. Once everything is done, check if you are uh, able to install the application or open the application. Uh, this should definitely fix the problem. 
Uh, now, in spite of all this, if you're still facing a problem, the next step, what I would suggest you to do is I would suggest you to run. The next step, what I would suggest you to do is I would suggest you to go ahead and run the performance troubleshooter. To do this, you will have to open the con command prompt. To open the command prompt, you can go ahead and type CMD in the search window and then click on run as administrator. In case if you get a user access control prompt, you may go ahead and click on yes or continue on the screen. Once this is done, what you need to do is you need to copy the command from my video description and paste it here. And um, the command is msdt.exe space id space performance diagnostic this is the command what you need to run this should open the windows troubleshooter on your computer follow the instructions what you're seeing on the screen once the troubleshooting steps are completed uh, you will have to go ahead and run another command for maintenance so you can copy the command from the video description and uh, type it here and hit enter now here you would see a system maintenance troubleshooter follow the step-by-step -step instruction on the screen and once it is completed you may go ahead and close the command prompt restart your computer and then check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, well and good. Now, in spite of trying all this step, if you're still facing a problem, I would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that I can come up with the possible solution. I hope this video was useful. In case if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.